swear my neighbors think I'm running a chop shop or something. And welcome back to another episode of DIY Van Build on Dare's Drives. So last week, you saw us put in these four windows here. We did the back doors, we did the rear quarter panels, pretty straightforward job. Curtis came over and helped us out. And now, we get to install the sliding door window. Let me show you the window. So this is the CR Lawrence sliding door window, which they call a T-vent window, and it's an awning style vent. So that way they're gonna flip upwards. So if we wanna flip this over, I will show you the other side. So if you remember those windows from last week, they were completely flat, and they just went flush onto the actual side of the body of the vent. These here, has a seal already, which means we don't have to worry about the silicone. I'm gonna say silicone again. Urethane. Urethane. <laughs> no urethane needed. So no urethane, no primer, anything that new. Well, we'll put some primer on once we cut, I guess. Yep. Other than that, that's, that's all we need. And then it has this flange, which is gonna come through the back side of the door. Squish it together. Now we'll put some screws through these, which is gonna clamp everything together right tight onto the door of the van. So, I say we start drilling some more holes. We've decided to go with the same strategy we had in the last window. If you didn't watch last week, we're gonna take a drill bit, we're gonna drill little holes all the way around the edge of this. What that's gonna do when we go to the outside of the van to cut through with our jigsaw, it's gonna give us a perfect little line where we can connect the dots. Bring an elementary to the van build, my friends. And let's put some music to this. dark down here, it's cold down here, and if you saw the setup I had going with my cell phone and camera to make this happen with the light, I think you'd be impressed. See, as I talk about all these box openings, I'm delaying opening things, and I forgot that I had like a stupid, stupid bright flashlight that we just bought, specifically so you guys could have light to see this stuff. I think I just gotta say, forget the box openings. Yeah, dude, like check that. Awesome. That's what we're talking about. That's nice and bright. Just too much on the mind, peeps. We got a brand new jigsaw blade in there because with the brand new ones, it's like, it's like butter. We're using the speed bit, it's called a medium size, for steel. We're basically gonna follow the dots we have all the way around. Now I put a little bit of tape down just for the track on here. It's not gonna scratch our paint, just to keep it clean, my friends. And here she goes. We talk about the battery. Just as we talk about the battery, it's dead. All right, all batteried up and safety second, people, as I keep saying. But let's cut. Hi, peeps, where are you? Right down there. Hi, guys. Woo! We made it. That we one? made it to the other side. It's nice and close all the way around. I think that thing's gonna fly in. Actually, drop right in. Yeah. But look at this, though. So. Look at this. I got metal shavings in places I didn't know I had. <laughs> it's itchy. It's gross. Yeah. That's the fun part of the job. Okay. So now we did a little dry fit. Sorry, the camera keeps going dead. That's the challenge we live doing this stuff. But. There's a couple spots that are just a tiny bit high, which made it so it wouldn't fit in properly. So we're gonna take our little grinder, and we're gonna make some sparks. That looks pretty clean now, what's this side? Now we're gonna clean up this side just a little bit as well, okay? Yeah, dude, that looks nice and clean. That's that side again. So close, though. Try one more time. I'd rather be too tight than too loose. All right, so we finally got it to fit. Now we're gonna head over here. Ooh. I can see you through my door. Uh, nice and simple. Rolls it on, goes on block. So we don't have any rust forming inside there. By the way, I never introduced Curtis in this video either. How rude of me. 
That was in last week's video. This is Curtis. He's my buddy from like before we even knew who ourselves were. We were so young and been my best friend all through those years. So, and now here he is, help me build a van so you can finally get rid of me because I think I've finally annoyed him enough. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'll come help you build. How quick you getting out of here? <laughs> we'll say these suction cups freaking rock, dude. Okay, I'm straight lined up. You're in? Okay. See? And now we got her pushed into place. There's a gap right now. That's just because the seals need to compress. So now that we're on the other side, we're gonna have this ring here. That's basically gonna fit around the window here and squeeze it all together. All right, so let's do that. That goes to the bottom, this goes like that, yeah. All right, let me set you up over here. Yeah, so then it just wraps around the window. And we're gonna drive the self-tapping screws. Did we bring those in with us? Yes. Drive the self-tapping screws right in. Okay, I'm gonna finish doing these up. I'm gonna come back to you in the morning when I got daylight so you guys can see better. Sound like a plan? So I think you get the point now. And this is our new window. As you saw, it crimps together to hold it in. No silicone or anything needed. Just put a little bit of rust preventer in behind there where the cut edge was. Then we put that beauty ring on and screwed it all the way around, which holds our nice T-vent window in place. So the bonus of this one is, it has this little knob here, in which we turn it, and from the outside, you can see it open up. And it goes nice and wide too. Love it, love it. So this window was a little harder to install because of the fact it fits right in with the ring, it had to be that much more precise and exact to make sure it fit perfectly. So here, take a quick look. It looks completely factory as well. And we, we will see you next Sunday. Perfect.